Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Come on in. Arvin, brother in law. Brother. Minister Adjison. Prophet Quita. Good evening. Intercessor Belinda, Intercessor Constance, Deacon Cliff. Hello. Prophetess Dee Dee. Hey, Barbara. Hello, hello. Hey, Dee. Ebony. Yes, Ebony, I hope you're feeling better. Hey, Deborah, Evangelist Karan, Deaconess Keitra. Hello, hello. Sheem, Elder Sheem. Our Elder. <laughs> hello, hello Sonia. Hello. Hey, Tori. What's going on, Deacon TB? Diaria. Hello, good evening. Hey, Mother. Hello, Tori. I'm glad you're you, better, Ebony. Don't worry about it, uh, Tori. We declare that migraine is going to cease in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hello, Intercessor Tanya. Yolanda, mm -hmm. hello. My brother, what's going on, Rodney? Deacon Rodney, how are you, sir? Hey, Mom, RG. Hello, hello, hello. We're in a different setting tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lakeisha. Hey, Miss Barbara. Miss Barbara Dixon and Miss Barbara Sanders. Hi, mm -hmm. how are y'all? Hello, hello. Yeah, we're gonna get started in a second. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The Linda daughter, good evening. Y'all ready? Hey, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Just a few more minutes just to give everybody a chance to settle in. Hey, Tiger and Lisa. Hey, hey, family. Hey, Valerie. <sighs> Slide up some. <laughs> you gonna give people a few more moments to get it come in? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are in. In great expectation. Yes. Hey, Vanna. Hello, Vanna. Nell. Sister Nell. Hey, Angela. My namesake. <laughs> hey, Tiffany.
Bree, hello. Hello, Bree. Hey, Kimberly. Hello, Cubs. Hey, Renee. The best family is in the house. <laughs> hey, Deborah, cousin. Hello, hello. Hey, I told you. I hope y'all still flap out. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. He's praying for us then, right? Keep praying for Everybody us Everybody on this line, pray yes. for us. Well, the song is playing. It says, make room. And it's teaching us to move everything out the way. So, we don't own the rights to this and music. And we do not own the rights to this music. It is on our, our title page. We do not own the rights. So mm -hmm. I just want everybody just for a minute to make some room for God this evening. Make some room for the Holy Spirit to settle in and do exactly what it has set out to do today. So Amen. we want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to everyone that is a part of this evening service, this midweek service. Yes. So we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for not finding a robbery to be with us today. I hope you're in expectation, just like our very own intercessor Quran says, we are in expectation so if you're expecting something, make room for what you are expecting. Move it out the way. Move I know. all the other stuff that don't yes. matter out of the way so that God can do what you're believing him to do. Move yes. that over. Yes, yes, yes. So make room and be in the expectation. Um, I know we've been, some been working all day long. Whatever went on at work, move it out the way. I know our kids are home and you know, school is out and it seems like can't wait for them to get back in school and we don't know if school coming back in or open it up, move it out the way. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Listen, the bill is still going to be there tomorrow. So add this for this hour or so, just move it out the way. Amen. I'm telling you. And I, and I say that for our sister Tori. Uh, we're going to move that migraine out the way so you are truly here what thus says the Lord. I am. I, I understand what you are going through. So... I just say right now in the name of Jesus, that migraine is gone. And for yeah. anyone else on here that's yes, we're, having issues. Yes, we declare in the name of we're Jesus. moving it out the way. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. let's Mike, keep declaring over the our lives that COVID-19 or no other, yes. uh, in, any other plague or, or illness yes. can come nigh to our dwelling. That we are immune yes. to everything that would try to hold us down, keep us yes. back, put Speaking us in this pain. Monica, moving it out the yes, way. even oh, people, yeah. even people mm -hmm. that plague us, we yeah. move them out of the way too. They yes. have no place. They cannot rest, rule, nor abide in your life if they are not ordained to move them over so God can have his way. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, I'm just thinking of some names. Sister Tammy, move it out the way. Out of the way. You're in and the entire family. Yes, move it out, it out of the, the way. way. I'm telling you, all of that, Just we're just moving it out the way because yes. God is going to make room. So let us pray in. Amen. God, we just thank you for this hour that you have given unto us. Yes, God, Lord. we just want to say, Holy Spirit, have your have way. Your way. Do it the way you want to do it. Yes. Send a word from on high. Thank and you, we Jesus. are ready in expectation. Yes. And we say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we are in expectation. We are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. We just Amen. in expectation for what he is yes, about to do he, today. Hallelujah. His name is wonderful. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just one short announcement, and I, and I know some people will have been ordering T-shirts. We are preparing to make that first order. We, and I want those that are not sending it via Cash App, but if you're doing it via the Ram, make sure in the bottom of it in your memo, make sure you tell us color and size, and we can tell the sex by your name. But you may be purchasing it, purchasing, you may. Purchasing it for someone else, so forgive me. Amen. You may be uh, you're you're getting one for someone else, so forgive me. Uh, I mean, forgive us 
if we have to contact you again to see what size and color you actually want, but we're putting in an order now and we're going to our distributor yes. very soon. Is that Melanie? Hey, hey, hey Mel. Melanie. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that's our Rucking Army family right there. Glad to see you. Yes. So today we're just going to kind of piggyback on what we did on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Our message on Sunday, Sunday was don't give up now. Amen. And we was in the Gospel of Luke. So if you have your Bibles, go ahead and turn to the Gospel of Luke. We're going to be in the very first chapter of Luke. And we may just keep on taking our time through the, through the physician Luke as we continue on. But we're in the Gospel of Luke, the first chapter. I'm not going to read everything. I'm just going to read the 39th verse through the 44th verse, but we're going to back up and then we're going to get there for the sake of time. And I want to make sure we are all the way in on everything we're doing. So <clears throat> if you have it, just send me a wave to say we are ready to go and we're at loop. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Please, uh, y'all forgive me. I see the, the whole, please tell my brother Doc I said hello <laughs> and your beautiful family. Yes. I mean, we be watching y'all on um, on um, Facebook. And, and your grandbaby. And your grands and everything. So tell. You put an S on the end of that one grand. One grand. Oh, I hope. Okay. <laughs> Just <laughs> straight about Melanie. Said, Melanie and Doc, man, thank y'all, man. I, yes. I'm truly for always being here for us and being friends. We will never forget you all. We're never. continually loving on you all from a distance. So, yes. um, definitely, you. we're in the Gospel of Luke, the Physician Luke, the first chapter, and I want to read it out of the New King James Version of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to begin at the 39th verse. And yeah, God's yeah. words read. Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste to the city of Judah and entered into the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth. And it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, Bless are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb but why is this um, granted to me that the mother of my lord should come to me for indeed as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ear the baby leaped in my womb for joy hallelujah hallelujah so for a evening title i just want to give you this title a God-driven purpose. Mm. A God-driven purpose. So good. Because many of us are driven with a purpose, but the question is, is it God-driven? Mm -hmm. mm. I, I just want to we want to build this case just for a few. Because seconds. there's a lot of things mm -hmm. that drives us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we do a whole lot of things that ain't driven. By God. God. Yes. And and what we must understand in this body of Christ mm -hmm. is that your God-driven purpose and my God-driven purpose is not in two directions. It's really driven to come together to fulfill what the body of Christ is doing in this season. Yes. This is the gist of this text is that it is a God-driven purpose. If you don't know it's God-driven, you will look at the whole Oh, wrong. Right. So let's walk through this and let's let's see this God-driven purpose because mm -hmm. I want somebody out there to know. We want somebody out there to know this evening. You are not in the position or the place you're in by happenstance. No, not by being happy in it by happenstance or coincidence. You are there because it is a God-driven purpose mm -hmm. that is behind what you're doing. Amen. It's got to be God driven. So let's back up in your Bibles to the 26th verse. To verse 26. <clears throat> and we're going to start at our text from there. I know I read just the 39th through the 
44th verse, mm -hmm. but I really want to back up so we can get a gist of what happened. From Sunday, we understand we talked about Zacharias and Elizabeth and Zacharias going into the temple for a once in a lifetime opportunity. And he finds the angel of God right next to the table of, of incense where they burnt the incense was as a symbol of prayer. And he told him in the presence or inside the temple that you're about to have a baby. Your yes. wife is about to conceive a baby. And he said during that time, how should it be, in other words, mm -hmm. because it is we're too old and we're past the time and my wife is barren. Mm -hmm. And we understand that he said that I am I stand in the I am the archangel Gabriel yes. that stand in the presence of God, meaning that God didn't send it through the channels. Right. God whispered it to him and yes. told him, go give it to him. Yes. He went down and told him the word, and he said, Because you doubt it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you mute mm -hmm. until the fruit of this thing come to fruition. Mm -hmm. So we understand that now we're in between that story mm -hmm. and this story. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about a God-driven purpose because mm -hmm. here we are. Mary, I mean, Elizabeth is pregnant. Mm -hmm. Now the same Gabriel is not finished giving a word. Right. Can I say this real quick? Don't be so fast to walk out before the benediction. Because if you walk out in before the benediction, you may miss the person that should be connected with your purpose. Yes. Yeah, I'm just talking That's to some good. people. I know we're not inside the four walls, but before mm -hmm. we give the benediction, don't run out yet. Right. Because I, there may be a word that's coming that will connect you to the person that is a God-driven purpose for you. Yes. So here we go in verse 26. Good? I'm good. It says, now in the sixth month. Now here, why it's so important in the sixth month? Because now Elizabeth is six months pregnant. Now. Yes. So it says, an angel Gabriel was sent to God, sent by God to the city of Galilee named Nazareth. And a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin name was Mary. Mm -hmm. Can I just go ahead? Can we just go ahead and build the case now? Let's build. So I, I want y'all to understand the importance of why he went to this woman. We said that were um, betrothed or what the new King James or what the King James says she was espoused to him. Mm -hmm. Meaning that it's three stages in those days to getting married. There's the engagement that is a verbal agreement. At this stage we're in now is where the families exchange properties, but it's the exchanging of everything that's going on. However, during this stage, this is what we're going to talk about later on. The only way to back out of this is not to take the ring back. If our day, uh -huh. you have to get a divorce. Okay. So in this stage, it is actually before the wedding. Okay. And they still have to get a divorce and she wasn't even in the wedding yet. Mm. So you can say something with your mouth. But then in this day, when you go with the family and start talking. Right. Now it's a whole different story. Right. So they exchanged property or they they did that. So they're in those same three days. Now, this is so powerful when you look at it. And he named the virgin that he went to was named Mary. Mm -hmm. Now, Mary carries this understanding. It goes back, and if you do the study, it goes back to Miriam, mm -hmm. which was uh, uh, Moses' sister. Mm -hmm. But when you look up the word Mary, it means this, rebellion. Yeah. Mm. Rebellion. Now, this is so powerful. Why would God pick somebody who's Rebel. named who rebels? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all tracking. Y'all, I know y'all with me. No. I, I, I love y'all when this is happening. I want to make sure you understand what yeah. he's saying. He's saying Mary. He picked yes. Mary, and her names mean rebellion. Yes. Now, this is so powerful because when you think about the story of Miriam, the time when they rebelled against Moses when he married a Egyptian woman, mm -hmm. and they said Moses, Moses ain't the only one that listened to uh, hear from God, and God corrected them. Right. So now we're at a place where Moses is leading them out. A leader is coming, and he got rebellious people around them, mm. and he had to correct them. Mm. Now mm -hmm. he's at this person with Mary, and Webster says this rebellion means the action or process of resisting authority. So now he's dealing with somebody with a name that says she resists authority. authority. Mm -hmm. I want you to hear this good because it's a God-driven purpose. Because let's be honest, we all done resisted some things. Yes, we have. 
Mm -hmm. Look at what God can do with somebody that once was rebellious. And I'm not talking about Mary. I'm talking about the gist of her name. Let's put your name in there or my name in there because all of us was once rebellious against what God told us to do. Yes. But here is Mary, this rebellious person. Mm -hmm. And look how God is working this thing. Okay. He can use what the world say can't be used. Amen. You know what I'm talking about. People bring up your past as soon as you say you're doing something for God. Mm -hmm. As soon as you're ready to go forward, people will remind you of what your name says about you. Mm -hmm. you oh, you talking about that person? Mm -hmm. Oh, I remember when. Mm -hmm. So in this text, we're remembering when Mary name meant rebellion. But let me go ahead and tell you what God can do with a person that's rebellious. Help mm. us. Here we go. Um, it goes on and says... And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so powerful. The rebellious person, and I'm, I'm not staying there, but listen. When he spoke to her, he didn't say anything else but say what the good right. that's in them. Amen. We got to stay in a place where it's not what people say about us and bring up our negative. We must remember the word that came to us that talked about our good. Yes. When you focus on the negative, you won't move in a God-driven purpose. Mm -hmm. Oh, I failed the last time. That has nothing to do with your now. Mm -mm. That's just the process. Mm -hmm. So look how blessed she is. She's number one. It says that she is highly favored. Yes. That's what he spoke to her. Mm -hmm. Then he says, God is with you. Mm -hmm. And then you blessed among all women. Yes. Put that down plain and simple. Yep. He said all of these things. But her name meant rebellion. But she meant rebellion. Mm -hmm. I know. I, I, all of us have so many names out there that people used to call us. You remember, I always told my daughters, be careful um, of everything you're doing. And, I, and I'm not, like I said, the women is my canvas, but you're not just a target because males are there too. Somebody can lie on you and make up a story and they'll call you out your name for the rest of your life. Right. You going to marry that or you going to do this? But listen, it's not about what they're calling you. It's what you're going to answer to when God calls. Right. She answered and he spoke, the angel spoke and said, you are highly fa favored. Yes. God is with you. Yes. And you're blessed. Somebody yes. just go ahead and you just got to understand that you are highly favored. Yep. But but even, even in that, imagine if, <laughs> imagine if we all spoke to what we saw in people yes. other than the negative mm -hmm. so can can you speak to the positive in your in your children in your yes. spouse in that person at your job you know because if you speak to that person that part of that person you might begin to see that part of the person more than what is being presented or what you have seen in the past yes. but what do you want to see mm -hmm. what good. do you want to see that's real good that is real good. And you can always call somebody. You're highly favored of the Lord because he created you. So you are highly favored. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the other angle, too. Mm -hmm. It's good to hear all the good part yep. before you get your assignment. <laughs> Boy, y'all got to hear this. This is a very informative book right here. This, this Bible is something else. Look how the angel said everything good before he even told her her purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't we love to hear the prophecy? We love to get the prophecy, but when the process comes for the prophecy, many of us fade off. Mm, that was so good. Mm -hmm. If we love the prophecy, we, oh, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that, and I'm going to get this. God yes. says yes, but you're going to have to stop buying all this other stuff to get it. You're yeah. going to have to focus in and do this. Look at Mary. She's all, he, he said all of this stuff about Yes, her, he did. But look at verse 29. Mm. It says, but when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. And that's typical of us. Yes. Because even those people, like we, I was just saying, mm -hmm. speak to the good in them. Mm -hmm. They know how they're acting. They know what they've been doing. Mm -hmm. And they're going to look at you like, why are you calling me that? Mm -hmm. I know I'm not acting that way. <laughs> but you call them that until they fulfill the assignment. Yes. That is very good. 
we speak we should speak to the good in the person and not always the negative yes but this is so powerful here is a virgin mary mm -hmm. who we don't know her past but mm -hmm. apparently it wasn't as bad as some of ours right but she's still troubled trouble because she did so because <laughs> <laughs> or was it she was troubled that now she's in the presence <laughs> of, of gabriel of holiness of holiness and yes. archangels out of the presence of God. When yeah. you know you're in the presence of somebody who's anointed, yes, who's God sent, it causes you to say, "Man, why are you talking to me like yeah. that?" And that's that's when those mm. those filthy rags show up. Yes, not only that God would say it, but when you're in the presence of holiness, and when you're in the presence of a holy God, you, and He wants to use you, the first thing gonna come to your mind is, "Why you want to use me?" I know, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, no, she, I'm not that good, like you say. And it says it it and it disturbed her holy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It stirred her within. Yes. And it says another word for that word trouble mean is agitated uh, with the long within her soul. Yes. That means when she heard this, her mind, her emotion, and her will Feel. was agitated. Uh -huh. you, yes. That's like when mm -hmm. people say, that's Oh, good. you're gonna be a pastor before, when I was out there being everything but church. They say you're gonna be a pastor. <laughs> I was agitated. I was alone in my mind, in my emotions, in my will, in my toes. I was I... agitated. That's all right. There are many of you out there that because you were at the tower and you didn't know you were supposed to be preaching and you were agitated in your soul. Matter of fact, let me see the last one that posted up there. Oh, I see that name right there with them eyes on it. I feel like you. Oh, I feel that you need to be preaching now. And if I say that right there to that person, she's agitated. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. It causes you, when God calls you to do something, it gets you agitated within yourself because of who it... And I'm not putting myself in there, but I'm just saying it agitates you. It because, messes with your mind, your emotions. Because the first thing that's going to kick in is humanity. Yes. The human you is going to kick mm -hmm. in when a holy God tells you that you're supposed to be a preacher. Yes. That you're supposed to be an evangelist. Yes. That you are a prophet. That you are a prophetess. That you are a teacher. Mm -hmm. That you, you know, anything that you're doing in the house of God and he tells you or you get the confirmation through the man or the woman of God and tells you that you're going to get agitated and you're going to be, you're going to start getting hot. <laughs> <laughs> and you in your mind, you're going to be like, mm -mm, not me. And these types of greetings. Yes. It causes us to feel that way. Mm -hmm. I, I, you know, people say, Pastor, you don't look like you're nervous up there preaching. Every time I'm nervous, I'm, you know, I, there's this feel that come over you even on this live. I'm sitting here like, okay, God, every time, not because I have fear, it's because, number one, I care. Yes. I really care about the things that God gives to yes. us. And then the second thing is, I really do care about the souls that are on this broadcast. Yeah. So anytime God says do something big, yes. it agitates us because like you said, the human portion of us mm -hmm. steps in. Yes. Now let's watch this in. But can oh, I, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Even, even so, in, um, we're not in the four walls and we're ministering, but we get agitated in, within ourselves because now our congregation is bigger mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. And so we had the blood on our hands when we were in the four walls. But there's some people, there's some of you that's on here that, that has never been in our four walls. So we're on a bigger platform. So that's more blood on our hands. So we, we, we reverence God. Mm -hmm. And we're so very careful at what we allow out of our mouth or the impartation that you're getting because we're held responsible. Yes, yes. Yes, and that it can agitate you. It agit yes. yes, it's a Just big concern. Just by the greetings, when you think about it. Mm -hmm. But this is what I love when we go into verse 30. Because when we get agitated, we got to hear these words. Listen to what th um, this scripture said, this mm -hmm. verse says in 30. Verse 30 still. It says, then the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. You have found favor with God. Mm -hmm. Now, I put this in here because it, 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 it really hits. What do you do when favor do not make you famous? Oh. Because she oh. said she found favor in God. And I'm, I'm trying. I should have prepped it later. But she says 
He's the angel tells her you find favor with God, and I'm 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 building this case. We're building Lord this case. Lord have mercy. Because what about when favor don't make you famous, though? Listen. <laughs> favor don't make you famous. Because many people relate favor in church with to being famous. Yes. Yes. Without having to go through anything. That part. That part. But Favor does not always make you famous, mm -mm. but mm. but faithfulness will make you fruitful. Oh, that's good. Favor may not make you famous, but faithfulness will make, make you fruitful. Mm. Mm. And many people cannot separate the difference mm -mm. because when you're when you have favor and you become faithful in the faithfulness, you will be fruitful. Yes, but you cannot Ooh. guarantee fame. And many people are trying to get to a place of fame looking for favor and you don't have the faith to produce the fruit to get you into your <sighs> blessed place. He can go ahead and benedict <laughs> us right now, but we need some more. <laughs> we need some more. That's real good. Yes. And this is, and he says, you are highly, God has found faith. You have found favor with God, not with man, but you have found favor with God. And many of us do, many of us, and I'm including us here. We did not first understand what it means to have favor with God. Yes. Mm -hmm. Faithfulness. Yes, Susan. Faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You will, Lord have mercy. <laughs> when you find somebody that's faithful. Yes. Listen, that's uh, the songwriter say, I may not be uh, perfect. I may not be, but I sure have been faithful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you find somebody that's faithful to God. And faithful to what you have going on, or faithful to you in a relationship, or faithful you you that is that is you know yes that is some that is that's a wonderful feeling that is a that fruit, faithfulness will produce fruit but favor would not always produce fame no nope. listen we got to understand oh, this Lord. favor can put you in a place of fame. But if your character is not right, it will put you in a place of falling. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Have mercy. Just, he I'm get just, ready to go down another place. I'm that's trying, that's I'm so just, good. But so, yes. It does. And you can, I'm telling you, favor can put you in a place of fame. Yes. But if your your character don't match up, you will be in a place called falling. Now, listen, I want everybody to know this. You know. It's my husband. <laughs> Yes. We're just going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it right there. We, oh, we, that's we, so we, true, We must though. understand. It's, it's very true. And we're looking for the wrong platform. We're looking for uh, to be discovered and not developed. And this whole text that we're in is a place of development. Because here is, on the beginning of it, mm -hmm. we have Zachariah and Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. They're being developed. Mm -hmm. Now we have Mary. And, and really, when you look at this text, you're not talking about an older female. Mm -hmm. They said she could have been as young as 15. Now, this is a young person. You got to look at the time that we're talking about. Come on, classmate. We, we, right, we, we, Tanya. We're, we're just talking about being young. Yes. In her, if you would mind somebody in 15 or somebody, let's let's do it our age. Somebody's under the age of, of 21, even mm -hmm. in the 20s. Just think of somebody young-minded mm -hmm. and they find this thing. And he said, you are highly favored mm -hmm. with God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then she hears all the good stuff. Yes. Now you got your prophecy. Now let me tell you a God-driven purpose. Because this is what we forget. This is the part. This is the part we forget. After we get our God-driven purpose, mm -mm -mm. what happens next? Now comes the process of your assignment. Lord, listen to that. Text. This the part where <laughs> folks be quitting at. This, this is where you. This where you see whether you faithful or not. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> this. Then he says, verse thirty-one, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son, and shall call his name. Jesus. Mm. We can go back and say God knew you before he ever formed you in your womb. Now he knew we Jesus was known to God when he said let there be mm -hmm. in the beginning. But this is how profound this message is, is that all of us had a name before our mother knew we was conceived. Mm. We all had a name. Your name is just not by hap happenstance. Right. So then it says verse 32, he will be great. Now, he's telling you all to your, this is your assignment. He already gave you, you're going to have a child. Yep. 
You let me put it into some days term. You're about to birth something. And what you're about to birth has a name that you can't change. <laughs> you're about to birth something that yes, has a name that, that you, you can't cannot you change. can't change. You it. can run from it. Come on, somebody. You can try. Mm-hmm. But, but you, you can't, cannot change you it. You can't change this thing. It's so powerful when when and and this is the the power of it. The name Strong Tower was birthed out of somebody that only has a womb, but I haven't got we haven't really dug into it, but it was Joseph that bought it out. Mm. Y'all missing this. <laughs> oh Jesus. So this, much. Is, this there's so much in it. <laughs> She was going to birth it, but look at what happened to Joseph when he had, when he Ooh. got the word, he was the one that brought it forth yes. because he was so vital into it that she had, without Joseph, she never would have went to Bethlehem because that was his hometown. We think it was a push out, but it was protection. Wow. He was in, he, he once again was in the ark. They went into a manger and we know what happens in a manger because there was no room in the end because he was never going to be the end man. He was going to be the out man that let us in. My God. Man, I'm just feeling this thing. This right is so now. good because things <laughs> have to be birthed out in a, only in a particular place. It can only be birthed. And then the thing that was birthed was laid in a trough. Yes. Where the animals come and eat. This is what, man, y'all know God does Lord, not do nothing by happenstance. I'm about to leave the set. Out of the places <laughs> that you don't even know, he was oh putting God. the bread of life into a manger, which is only a trough where we should come and eat like sheep. Just the sheep this. has to come to the shepherd to eat, and they took Jesus and laid him in a manger, a place that feeds animals, and God said we all are like sheep. Here's our shepherd feeding us, and he's still a baby. Lord have mercy, y'all. Mm. Come on. So let me. Oh, let me, let's get. Listen, let's get back invite on. somebody in the room. <laughs> go mm. hit that share button before we go off. Lord have mercy. <laughs> he is teaching us tonight. Come on, somebody. We teaching tonight. We're Lord teaching have tonight. mercy. <laughs> Oh God, I love it. So we we hear this mm, mm, this mm. this whole birthing. So I, I'm just telling somebody, you got a God driven purpose out there, but don't look at your purpose like somebody trying to snatch it away. We all have a purpose that comes together to make up the body. Oh man, I, I'm 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 just gonna have to walk a little bit. We talked about Mary here, but we don't even we haven't even uncovered the God driven purpose of Joseph. Mm -mm -mm. I'm still in the process. We we all in the process. <laughs> so this is a process. Look, well, let's talk about that process. Can we talk about the process? Because the process is after the prophecy. I know, I know you're going to get your mansion here on earth. But listen, if you're not faithful in the one bedroom oh, apartment, God. if you're not faithful in the place you're in now, if you're not faithful with what you have now, he said you cannot be ruler over much because you're not faithful over the little. You can't have a mansion if you're trashing what you have now. There's a process mm -hmm. that has to happen mm -hmm. on your way to where you're going. Yes. I'm even thinking about how strong tower Ooh. came how strong tower was birthed out mm -hmm. the very place that he pastor did not want to go oh lord he, jesus i did we changed the orders from going there mm -hmm. got them changed and they put them right back on orders to go to fort hood yep because there was something there you cannot birth uh, or you can't even get pregnant in, in anywhere it's, it's a certain place that you get impregnated. Can I say this? And you just can't get pregnant by anybody. Cannot get pregnant You may have by wanted anybody. to, but you got to understand that God may have protected some of us not to get somebody pregnant. Y'all got to hear me. That was to put something in place that wow. would bring about bad fruit. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not trying to be mm -hmm. perverted. What I'm trying to give you right now you were never supposed to sow seed or be the ground that somebody sold into. And we got upset because they didn't give us what we thought we wanted. But what you wanted didn't wasn't going to come out right. Right. 
So God had to do it. And, and she's oh talking about when we, left, when we left South Carolina, we was, le that's very profound, baby. We was leaving South Carolina. Yes. And my place was to go to North Carolina. Yes. I wanted to go to Fort Bragg. Yes. I ain't no telling what's going to happen at Fort no Bragg. No telling. I never been, y'all got to hear me, other than flying, I never been stationed across the Mississippi and I never wanted mm -hmm. to go. Mm -mm. But this is why it's a process. When we crossed over, you remember we crossed over the Mississippi? I remember. And I remember Apostle Holcomb saying that anytime there's a big change or a crossover, it happens in water. <sighs> y'all got to hear this. Yo. There's always water that's dealing with a crossover. Uh, you gonna let me do? Uh, yeah. Y'all know when the children of Israel was Come coming on. out mm -hmm. and Moses let them out, there mm -hmm. was a crossing over of the Red Sea. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yeah. When Joseph, when when Joshua, I'm sorry, when Joshua led them into the Promised Land, mm -hmm. first they had to cross over the Jordan. Jordan. Come on, somebody. Come on. When Jesus came in, his when everything broke was when. Oh, 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 I already went too far. <laughs> I, I'm in this text, but since I'm already here, I'ma say it. There was a changeover in this text, and I'm gonna get to it. That when John the Baptist and Jesus met, the crossover happened when they was in, in the, the water, water, in the womb of the water. Come on. And then when Jesus, when when they found John the Baptist doing what he was doing, it was near the water, water. doing baptized. Mm -hmm. But when mm -hmm. Jesus took over, it was in the water after he went down and came up, and the Holy Ghost like a dove fell on him. Lord have mercy. It's all in the water. All and in then the water. on the cross, when they pierced him in the side, the first thing that came out was water, water and, and blood. blood. And God said, <laughs> this is a living word. It is like a water, a living river, a running. It is the living word. He even told a woman at the well, you may, if you drink that water, you will thirst again. But if you drink of the water that I have for Listen, you, you will never thirst again. I'm seeing some testimonies on here. you want to cross over, don't be afraid of the Bible. Body of water. water. I, um, classmate Tanya, I saw you. You said y'all went to Panama. Mm -hmm. You had to cross over some to find Come him. Some more. To on. find him. Yes. Cross. Yeah. Let me tell you. There's some water. And I remember crossing over the Mississippi and saying, baby, there was a shifting in the atmosphere. I've remained quiet and we crossed over. Yes. Now, we didn't want to go. I didn't want to go. Mm -mm. But we went that way. And so much happened when we got there. Yes, a lot happened. A lot happened while we, we got, got there. there. We truly found him yes. when we got there. So now, 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 let's get on down this road before you okay. make me preach. Some all right, more. Can all we, right, can all we, right. let's go. I'm going to get go. there. I'm going to get there. Because I'm just go. telling somebody, when it comes, I'm not saying <sighs> baptism has to, 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 is the thing that saved you, but it is an outward display. Mm -hmm. So listen at this in verse 32. Let's get on this text. It says, and this is what the angel is saying to Mary. She says, he will be great. He will be called the son of the highest. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. Yes. Now listen at this. He already saying what his father going to give him. Mm -hmm. And she haven't even told the one that would be his earthly father. Lord have mercy. I would love to know. my. Uh, you got to understand. We got to get it right. You got to know that your heavenly father is doing something for you. Even if your earthly father don't know about it. <laughs> Y'all, that, that was good to me right there. Uh, your heavenly father is doing something amazing for you. Even if your earthly father don't know about it. So I, I'm, I'm really helping some people. And, I, I, you know, me and my mother talk so much. Uh, and we, we converse about the past and everything, how we get to where we are today. But I'm telling you, God is doing some amazing stuff, even if your father don't know about it. Mm -hmm. But don't don't feel bad about it. He can come back into your life and he can still push you into your purpose driven yes. life according to God's purpose. So let's look at this. Verse 33. And it said, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom. There will be no end. Don't despise what you are purposed to carry. Mm -hmm. When God gives you something so big and tell you all of that, many of us run because it's bigger than we can see it. Yes. When it's bigger than what you think you should have, you're in the right place. And when you got when you catch in hell to get to it, you're in the right place. Yes. Don't yes. quit. Let me turn my fan. Uh, yes. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all, excuse me. One second. I gotta help my wife out. <laughs> this word's so good. I'm having some hot flashes over here, but. When you're carrying something so great 
you can look for it to be ridiculed. You can look for to be talked about. You can look for everything to try to come against it because the purpose of it is to stop you. The purpose of it is for you to get tired and quit. The purpose of the enemy coming for it is for because if you ever push, he in trouble. If you ever push through what you're going through to get to where you're going to, he is in trouble. I dare you to push. Push through. Don't stop because what you are carrying is it's going to speak louder than what you even believe. Yes. Hallelujah. It has a purpose. Yes, it does. Thank you. Amen. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> so let's push down this road a little bit. Thank y'all for being patient. With Amen. Us. So we're saying right here, Hallelujah. In verse number uh, thirty-four, there we are. We're at verse number thirty-four. It says, Then Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I do not know a man? Because he said, You're going to conceive a child. But this one is not like Zacharias. And you know, he said the same, same basically the same statement mm -hmm. to the same angel. Mm -hmm. But he said, How shall I know this? And gave the message of God the excuses of why not. He gave the excuse why this can't be. He said, uh, this can't be. Man, my wife is old and, this, and barren. I'm too old and my wife is barren, man. You talk, you know how it is. Yes. We discount the prophecy before we even listen to the whole plan of it. Yes. So he discounted this. But Mary said the same thing. She said, how don't I know it? Because I don't know a man. Mary asked a question, not because she thought that this, that, that, um, this season has passed her, but because she has never did this. Right. I want y'all to get this. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that the season passed. Right. She was saying, how can this be? I never did this before. Yes. I, I, I'm not trying. Y'all got to hear that revelation of a different what I'm saying. Yes. She was saying, you're telling me to do something that I have never done before. Right. So how can I conceive something when I ain't never, never did, did it before? Yes. This is so profound. God is trying to tell some people right now, you're about to do some things that you have never did before, but it does not stop what I'm about to purpose you to do. Just because you didn't do it doesn't mean you don't have the equipment to bring it forth. Mm. Or oh, somebody got to... You good. have the ability to bring it forth. Yes. It wasn't about what she did not do. She was a vessel That's what I was about to, to bring it forth. Yes. Can you just be a vessel? Yes. Without questioning God. Yes. Without yeah. coming against. Come on. Mm -hmm. Without coming against what God is doing in your life. Yes. Can you just be that vessel? That's Can all. you be the vehicle to get the purpose to, to the earth? Yes. Into the earth. Can you be the vessel? Yes. She was just she wasn't trying to discount it. She was just saying, I ain't never went this way before. So here it is. When God tells you you the vessel and you said you ain't never did it before, I love how he said you going to do it. And see, that's when that human moment kick in. That's when all of that, uh, what was yeah. it? That, uh, the, with trouble, you talking about yes, that agitation. The agitation system. kicks in. Mm -hmm. When you ain't never did it, you know you ain't never mm -hmm. did it, but he telling you you going to do it. You going to do it. <laughs> you going to do it. But this is how you know you're going to do it when you are a vessel. And the ain't because her her question was truthful. Mm -hmm. She said, "Hold up, now, you want me to conceive a son?" Yep. But um, honest question. I, I'm, I'm not. You know, she's not a yep. naive. Right. She's saying, "How can I do this?" Right now, this is now. Let me just stick a pin right here. See, she ain't she saying a good question. Mm -hmm. But when we tell some people, "Hey, I, I hear God saying you need to," I'm just using this one. Hey, you need to be on the praise and worship team. Well, I can't sing in front of them people, but you've been singing at karaoke. <laughs> I can't. I'm just using karaoke. I know. I'm, no, no, no. I said I can't because yeah. that's the first thing that we say is I, I can't. can't. And you ain't supposed to. You got to let the spirit of God use mm -hmm. you to do what he's calling you to do and get your own mind off of it. Because as long as you can do it, you ain't going to do it. That's why the text right there said it. You got to get your mind off of it because look how she's going to do it. It says in verse 35, and the angel answered and said to her, to, to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power 
of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Yes. Now, this is the first thing. He said, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's going to come upon you. Yes. It's something that's coming to you. Yes. When it comes upon you, mm-hmm. it's there. But then it says, not only is it going to come upon you, it's going to overshadow you. This is the thing. It's going to overshadow you. Not just come, but but this thing means that it's more than a shadow. Mm-hmm. In other words, we look at when it overshadows us, we're going to be in the dark. Yes. That's but what it, it's that's what it you're but, gonna be in the light. But that's what it is. It's totally <laughs> not what people think. You think you're going to be in the dark, but right. you're going to be in the light because this definition of older shadow means a shining cloud surrounding or enveloping a person with brightness. Because mm-hmm. we think of a shadow, we're thinking of the clouds, but... When we really think of the shadow of God, right. it's light. Yes. Because he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the light of the of the Most oh, High. The, Not the in the Almighty. shadow of yes. the Most High, uh, but the light of the uh, Almighty. Almighty. But, and the thing about that is when you do stuff for God, mm-hmm. that's why you can't play with it. Mm-hmm. Because that light is going to shine on you. Yes. You cannot Good. do something for God and live any kind of way. Because the light is going to find you. Mm-hmm. And that's why a lot of people don't, they, when that human part of them kick in, the anointing that's on them that we can see, they don't want to operate in it because you don't want to stop doing what you're doing because you already know that if you do what God tells you to do or what you are anointed to do, you can't keep doing what you've been doing because the light is going to find you. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I don't, it does not, the light don't just find you. It exposes you. It exposes you. And this is <laughs> this definition overshadow goes on, and you said it. And then it says exerting creative energy upon the womb. Mm. It's gonna hit the birthing canal. <laughs> Somebody's missing this. You don't want to do it, but if you allow God to overshadow you, it's gonna hit the birthing canal. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He he didn't make you feel good about it. It just it just put it in the birthing place. Somebody, man, this. It means this when he overshadowed. It's the immediate presence and power of God. And it, you, it, it says it's going to hit the birthing canal. Mm-hmm. That's the place that it travels through. Mm-hmm. 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 It's going gonna, it's gonna to hit. It's going to already be planted. Yes. Because it's the immediate presence of the power of God. Immediate. Yes. It's just like the woman with the issue of blood. She didn't have to go home and check it because when she touched him, he turned around and said, man, my power left me. Yes. Somebody is in my presence that's looking for my power, and his power overshadowed her issue. Uh-huh. And that's when we talked about faith mm-hmm. again, because mm-hmm. it said her faith made, her faith produced the fruit of healing. Yes. And then because she was faithful, she got the fruit, and now she's famous. Yes, she Because is. every time we read the book, she's famous. Yes. Every time. She wasn't favored among the people in the city. She didn't have favor among God, but she had a God-driven purpose. Yes, she did. And because her purpose was to suffer for 12 long years, oh my. because she was faithful. Her process. Come on. Her process brought her faith. Her faith brought her fruit. And now she's famous because we all love to talk about the lady with the issue of blood. Did you hear that, what I heard? Mm-hmm. Her faithfulness mm-hmm. brought her fruit. And no. Her- Oh. Her process brought her faith. faith. Yes, her process brought her faith. Your process should be bringing you faith, not fear and not heartache. Mm-hmm. Let your process bring you faith so it'll produce fruit. Mm-hmm. So that's why we move from faith, faith to, to faith, faith, from strength to strength, and, and then glory, glory to glory. Because we go from one level of faith to the next level of yes. faith, and then it strengthen us and it strengthen us, and we go from glory to glory. Yes. All in that Lord, story, this lady kept mercy. saying, "If only I would touch, that's faith. But if only if I would touch, that's more faith. If Listen. only if I would touch." She was going from faith to faith, and in between every one, she was strength. gaining strength and strength. strength. She was giving strength and strength. strength. And then when she touched him, she went from the glory of not having the blood into the glory. Now you got to read my story. From glory to glory. You can talk about my blood, but when Jesus touched me. 
Gabriel, when Lord, he comes in, you'll read about it. Your faith mm. in the process should make you famous. Not say, to say famous on the stage, but make you famous enough so that somebody else can read your story. Yes. And it'll give them hope. Mm -hmm. Yes. Give, give them the hope for that expected end. What yes. expected end? The same one that she got. Glory to glory. Yes. Just trust this Come process. Come on. Listen, you can put yourself with everybody's listening to this, but you can put yourself mm -hmm. in any situation, whatever it is you're going through. You can see yourself in what we're talking about because yes. I can see myself in what we're talking about. Yes. Every situation yes, on yes, here yes, is, yes, yes, is yes. different. But the end result and how we put it in place with the word of God is the same. I know you see yourself. Yes. Now, now, now watch this. Because many of us have the, the power, mm -hmm. but sometimes we don't know we got what we got. We don't Fact. know we have what we really do have. <sighs> and it takes somebody else to really let us know we have what we yes. have. Yes. <laughs> now, let me go ahead and prep this right here. If you're not in the right place, you can't get your confirmation. But if you stay in the wrong place and you don't go, you won't get it either. You listen. I'm telling you, this is this is the uh. God-driven purpose. <laughs> Here we bring together two. I, so come on, Sister Belinda, you already in my text. I was gonna say expected in, but let's do this. It's an expected process, also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. There's an expected in, but the expected in comes with an expected, expected process. process. So don't don't look for the expected end if you don't want to go to the process of getting there. Yes. So this is this is what we understand. It's a God-driven purpose. Mm -hmm. But when two people have a God-driven purpose, it builds the body of Christ. Yes. Here it is. Now listen to the angel said to her in verse 36. It says that now indeed Elizabeth, your relative, somebody that you have a relationship with, yes. has also conceived a son. In her old age, mm -hmm. he's building this case. Mm -hmm. And this is now the sixth month of her whom was called barren. Mm -hmm. She's in a sixth month and you last known her, she was barren. Yes. See, she hid this. Right. She was hiding this. Yes. And he's let, the angel of God is letting you know everything that's going on that's in the hiding place. Secret. There is a secret place of blessing that only you have the right to go into because she was hiding. And the only reason, come on, I'm trying. The God-driven purpose is going to drive her there. Yes. Oh, God. But Elizabeth had to be in this six-month hiding in the right place so that they both purposes could come together. Yes. Now watch this. And he says, for with God, nothing will be impossible. Yes. You hear the word. Mm -hmm. But when she heard that, he said that Mary said, behold, the handmaid, your um, maid servant mm -hmm. of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Let it be to me according to, to your word. word. Mm -hmm. And the angel parted from angel her. Angel departed from her. My Lord. This is so powerful. She didn't say according to what I'm going to feel in my stomach. Not according to anything else. She said according to your word. Word. In other words, the God-given word through the messenger of God. According to the word. Not the messenger. Mm -mm. According to the word. The word. Not the messenger, the word. She oh, didn't start God. worshiping the messenger. No. She gave credit where credit is due from the word and the source of the word. Yes. She said, let it be according to your word. Mm. Mm. And what word did he say he came with? He came with a message from God mm -hmm. for you. Mm. Not how you feel, not how you think, or nope. any confirming signs she needed. Listen, she did. Now, this is the part. Uh, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that. Here we go. Verse 39. Are you all right? I'm all right. Can I keep going? Can we keep going? Third, verse 39 says, Now Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country mm -hmm. with haste to a city of Judah. And we already know Judah means praise mm -hmm. and entered the house of Zacharias and greeted Elizabeth and it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary that the baby leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit here's a God driven purpose <laughs> here it is this is the God driven purpose <laughs> first of all some of us are going to be sent with a purpose for someone else. We're going to try to take our time yeah, and right break here. this down. I'm, I'm really going to try to. Okay. Some of us are going to be sent to somebody 
with a purpose. Mm -hmm. Or your purpose is going to end up sending you to someone else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then there are some that must be in the correct place to get a word for your purpose. I'm, I'm making this plain. Here's Mary with a God-given purpose and she was sent to Elizabeth. She was sent to her. For a purpose. Yes. Now here's Mar Elizabeth in the correct place. Yes. To receive a word for her purpose. Yes. Mm. I'm, I'm with y'all. Y'all got to understand. Did y'all get that? I hope y'all getting this. <laughs> it's a God-driven purpose. Uh -huh. Mary was driven with a word of purpose. Right. Elizabeth was in the right place to receive a word of purpose. Mm -hmm. But I ain't get there. But the God said, if you give it with the same measure, you should receive it back. So mm -hmm. to give it, you end up receiving it back. Mm -hmm. So Mary was in the right place to read, to do what the word of God said and give her back a word of purpose. Yes. So purpose went to purpose, but purpose was in the right place to also give a word of purpose mm -hmm. back. And I'm going to prove it in the scripture. I, I hope y'all got that. Some of you wondered how you got to Florence. God sent you with a purpose. Some of us are wondering why we're still in Florence because you're in the right place for your purpose. Remember that place called there? You're there. <laughs> Some of us are being sent there. Some of us are there and don't know we're there. Right. Right. I just got to get out of Florence. Ain't nothing here in Florence. Well, you may leave your purpose or your word coming. Yes. Not saying that you don't supposed to leave, but make sure God is sending you. Yes. So we find Mary was sent with a word, but did not understand when you give a word, the word comes back. Yes. She was sent with a purpose. Yes. But didn't understand when you give a word, the word comes, comes back. back. Mm -hmm. So let's make it plain as I can. Here, Mary, Make she, it plain she walks can. in. Yes. She walks into this, uh, uh, into Elizabeth's house. Mm -hmm. And it said, and it happened. Mm -hmm. Here is two God given purposes. It happened. What happened? Coming together. Yes. Here is the body of Christ being built in the presence, uh, is being built, and nobody can't see it. Right. Nobody don't even see the beginning of the ministry of the new, if, if I use this word, the New Testament church being built, even though they can't see the bricks. Okay. Even they don't know the address. I'm, Bring them yeah, in. I'm telling you, I'm talking about, you, you don't know the address. You don't know the building. Some things are there. It doesn't look right. But here it is. Two God-given purposes, driven purposes coming together. Yes. It said it happened when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary. She heard the word within her. Yes. She... Don't even know it's in her. But it says the baby leaped in her womb and Mary was filled with the Holy Ghost. Here it is. When somebody send you a word and you know you carry it. Elizabeth was I mean, filled. And Elizabeth was filled with, with, the, the, Holy, with the, Holy the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Mm -hmm. um, and when the right, when the person who has a God-driven purpose. Yes. Come with the word for your life. So Mary came with the word. It's in her. It's in her. Jesus. Mary was carrying Jesus. Mm -hmm. The word. Mm -hmm. I just want to break it down. Yeah, Somebody. The word. Okay. Now, in today's, you still carrying Jesus is in the Logos word. Yes. Which is the written word. Yes. Here is the written word coming to flesh inside Mary. Yes. Y'all got it. If you... Y'all know, uh, let me pause. The, rhema word means it's a, God, a word from God from on high. Mm -hmm. The angel Gabriel sent the rhema word to Mary. Yes. Mary now is turning the rhema word into the Logos word. She's about to birth the word in flesh. She's about to birth the word in, in flesh. flesh. So if God says you're the head and not the tail, can you carry the purpose long enough or the process so that the, what he said can manifest in the flesh? Mm-hmm. So, Mary walks in. She speaks a greeting to her. And they said immediately, what Elizabeth was carrying started jumping. Yes. And what was Elizabeth carrying? Elizabeth was carrying John the Baptist, the forerunner to Jesus. John the Baptist. Why they call him John the Baptist? Because he was the one baptizing people in the wilderness and would later baptize Jesus. But you got to understand this first. Before John baptized Jesus in the river, here in this greeting, Jesus baptized John. Yes. <laughs> 
John leaped. Come on, you Come always on, heard the story. You already, you already know what the word says that John baptized Jesus. Jesus said, told John he would baptize him. He was like, "Oh, I ain't worthy to baptize you." He said, "Let it be so according to the word." Yes. But he didn't understand. He was already he baptized. He was already baptized when, because when Mary spoke to Elizabeth, Jesus was in. Was the word there? Was already there. She spoke from the word mm -hmm. into Elizabeth, into John. Into John. Now, let's make this and just the, the scripture don't say it, but I've heard people say this okay. before. Just imagine she was in a six month and nothing was moving. And she already was hiding because she was afraid that if something was to happen, she would be in a greater shame. Mm -hmm. So could you imagine a mother holding her stomach saying, oh, God, you done told me this and I was past my barren age. Listen, is this a miscarriage? Wow. You know how you've been, yes. you've been hoping and waiting on something. Mm -hmm. And because it's not moving the way you want it to move, you are starting to wonder, is it a miscarriage? Right. Come on, somebody. Right. You may have had your blessing. Oh, I'm talking to us right now. Or There's are a... you carrying, yeah, or, or better still, because when you talk about in six months, mm -hmm. not that it's a miscarriage, you, is your baby dead? Yes. That's what you're going to think. Yes. Am I, is my baby dead? You, what, are you, whatever is, it is that you're carrying right now. Has it, has it not come to full term or did you just let me feel this and snatch it away from me? Have I had this high and all of a sudden now I'm back at this low? Yes. So like you said, have what I was carrying died off. A yes. miscarriage. Yes. It's no longer connected to me. I can't carry it. Miscarriage. Right. But here it is. I'm like what you said, that it died off. But the word that is sent for your life yes. will cause what you think is dead to leap again. Because has the right person spoke into the word it? in your life? Has the right person spoke the word in your life that will cause that thing that God has put on the inside of you to leap? To leap. You know when Where you, you say, "Oh, I know my purpose." Mm -hmm. Ooh, can, has. Your Mary showed up. Mm -hmm. Has your Mary, with carrying the word, has the word spoken to who you are? What you're carrying? Has your, the word spoken to your purpose? We always say this. One word from God will change our whole life. Mm -hmm. And it will change our whole life. If we have come in contact with the person that's supposed to speak the word of God. See, anybody can't speak it. Mm -hmm. Mary had to speak to Elizabeth because there was a purpose that had to come forth. They met in the water. Mm -hmm. Now just imagine this because baptism means that you live for God. Mm -hmm. You were buried. Yes. And then you rose again. Yes. Just imagine this right here. Let's just say, and it's not in the text. This is, this is the KGV version of the Bible. That's the Kelsey Goodson <laughs> version of the Bible. Give it not to King us. James version, Give it to but the us, KGV babe. version. Yes. Just say for the KGV version of the Bible, her baby was dead. Mm -hmm. But there's a word that'll bring you back to life. Because if you think about it, when Jesus rose, oh. raised three people, he rose the daughter, um, Jairus' daughter, when she just died. Then she, he raised the woman's son when she was leaving out after they done put him in a casket. Then after three days, he, or four days, Lord he raised Lazarus mercy. from the grave. But before all of that happened, maybe he raised John to prove that I am who I said that I am. Come on. This is why when it leaped inside of Mary, she says, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Now, can, I, can, can we? Liz, uh, you, did you say dead for three days? Mm -hmm. Have you been in church all your life and you never felt anything leap in you? But when you found the right place, that place called there, and you heard the man or the woman of God speak and your baby leaped, you thought the baby was dead. Mm -hmm. Three days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the right person spoke and said, Lazarus, come forth. Yes. The right person spoke and spoke to your situation, spoke to your purpose, and told it to come forth. Lord, I can run right here. Now, now let's, let's see, because this is what she came with the purpose. Yes. A God-driven purpose for Elizabeth. Yes. Because Elizabeth was in hiding. Mm, hiding. The word will even find you in hiding. Listen. There's a word that will find you in hiding, even though you're hiding what God said is going to be blessed. 
So stop hiding in church. Yep, stop hiding in church because the word going to hit you now. I know you're hiding in your in your secret place right now in your house, but I'm bringing a word. Somebody, that's baby, right done leaped since we've been you know, on this yeah, line. I know you've been leaping. I, I, I'm telling you, I'm just a messenger, but the word is from on high. Right now, you have a word inside of you. You are carrying something right now, and I come to speak as a messenger of God. I'm giving you the Lord greeting. Help. You and your purpose shall live. Yes. It's going to live. It will live. It will live through the, I'm telling you, from Le a even word in a pandemic, high, it's even in COVID, it, it is going to live. Some of us mm -hmm. had to have a pandemic mm -hmm. to hit so that we can see what's on the inside of us that God intends to live. Because if you would, the pandemic did not hit, you would have stayed in a place. That you would not have ever heard the word for your 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 baby to leap, for your purpose to come forth. I, I mean, just so, Lord have come mercy. on, somebody, just go ahead. You can go ahead and celebrate in your home. Jesus, you can raise your listen, hands. somebody you better can get shout. excited. You can do what you want to do because I'm telling you right now. <laughs> even after I done told some people that was going on with me, as I preach this word, I feel the leaping. Yes. There's a leap. I told you we preach in a mirror. We yes. don't do nothing outside of. I'm telling you right now. There's a leaping in the spirit right now. I'm telling you, right? It it feels like we were bearing, my, and my. we are carrying something. No, the time has not passed. We think that it is done, but I'm here to tell you: when God sends a word our way, Come I'm on. not ne neglecting myself. When He sends a word our, our way, way, when we thought it was bearing and we thought we were doing well, and now it feels like it's died off, mm. God says no. I'm sending a word to your way. I am greeting you on this message to say you're about to feel it leap again. Lord have mercy. It's leaping again. It's leaping again. I'm telling somebody it is leaping yes. again. It, you can feel it down into your shanda, we Come call on. it. There's a leaping that's going on again. Don't give up. Now, there up. is a God-driven purpose behind this process. Oh, I was about to say, endure the process. You are right at your leaping point. Mm -hmm. You are right at the leap. Don't you quit. You better hold on mm -hmm. until it's time to push. And you're going to know when it's time to push because them pains won't let you do nothing else but push. You can't quit when it's time to push. And this is so funny when Lord you think help. about this, babe. She's over six months, so she's halfway through the process, mm, mm, and she quit. Mm. I'm just using that one. I'm not saying Elizabeth quit, but I'm just talking about in the KGB version of the Bible. Just say she's halfway, she's over halfway, and now she's giving up. And the only way that you can quit when it's time to push is if somebody gives you something, some medicine to stop the pain. Yep. So here we go. Here we go. Let, let's move. Because I'm looking at and, our clock. And don't, sell, don't medicate when it's time to push. Don't look for medication when it's time to push. Yes. You right at your breaking point. Yes. Keep pushing. You don't need no medicine. Yep. Stop going to the cabinet. Stop going to the cabinet. Stop mm -hmm. leaning on somebody. Stop calling your friend. Stop calling the medicine. Push. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep mm -hmm. going. Yes. Don't quit. Yes. Don't quit. Now, watch this right here mm -hmm. so we can get on down this road before you preach these people out Lord of have mercy. I'm just telling you. Let's let's watch what happens then. Then verse 42, I told you the word never, the word turns, never returns to him void. The word never returns void. Y'all hear me. The word never returns void. So in verse 42, then she spoke out with a loud voice and said, this is Elizabeth talking to Mary now. Mm -hmm. Mary went with a purpose. Yes. She spoke the purpose. The purpose met. Mm -hmm. Now is Mary turn. Mm -hmm. In the right place. Elizabeth. I mean, Elizabeth is in the right place. Mm -hmm. Now is her time to talk. Yes. Because she got a forerunner inside of her. Uh -huh. The one that is going to proclaim before Jesus comes. Yes. So listen to what the forerunner is saying. Y'all got to hear this thing. He said, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. She... Listen, y'all, let, let me slow, slow down. I, I, I'm going to have to take five more minutes. She ain't in 2020 mm -mm. where she could go to her local CVS and find out if it's true what the angel of God said. Mm -hmm. She don't have no sticks. She don't have no, she can't go to her local uh, 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 provider and find out if it's time. No. Here is her pregnancy test. Yes. Come on. This is her conception test right here. Ain't no CVS. No CVS. This right here. No this, 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 this is none of this. Here is her pregnancy, pregnancy test. test. 
right here. Mm -hmm. When Mary said, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. She can't even feel nothing. Mm. She just left and went to Mary after the word. Come on, somebody. There is no sign. She ain't showing nothing. She still got a, a 12 pack or whatever she's been working on. She's still good. There ain't no big nose, no big feet, no extra weight. There's nothing going on. She just walked in and now she just conceived. Mm, mm, mm. And I don't know. I, I don't remember. It takes a few weeks before the body starts to let you know that you have conceived something, uh, right? Yes. I, I, it, 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 before the body starts changing you. Yeah, know? I mean, before to do the blood test and everything, it takes a few weeks. To, yes. To, I, thank you. I, I, so here she is. Ain't nothing happening. And if it was in those times, she can't go to the doctor and get that test. Mm -hmm. So here's a, her, her test. Her blood test. Because that's the first you really know in the blood in the if blood. you're pregnant Somebody, or not. Ooh, Ain't no mistake. It's in the blood. I'm trying to tell y'all something. It's in the blood. You'll catch that later then. Come on. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. But why, but why is this granted to me? That the mother of my Lord should come to me. She already saying it. She, she already said that granted that the mother of my Lord has so, come to me. Yes. Mary just walked in. And then she said, for indeed, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ear, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. Blessed is she who believed for there would be a fulfillment of those things which were told her. From the Lord. Blood test. Blood test. You pregnant. Right you pregnant. there in a minute. She just confirmed. <laughs> so the purpose, a God-driven purpose, uh -huh. went to Elizabeth. Yes. When she got there, Elizabeth was in the right place. Yes, she was. But because Elizabeth was in the right, right place, place, Elizabeth now confirmed what she could not see. Yes. There's somebody that you're going to send a word to and they're going to confirm what you can't see yet. The word that we receive, somebody else is about to confirm it over your life. Yes. And you have no outward display that it is planted in good ground. Yes. And, and the thing about it is, Mary knew she was carrying something great. And Elizabeth didn't hear the conversation between the angel and Mary. Mm -mm. And so Elizabeth said to her, mm -hmm. um, for indeed, as soon as you, as soon as the voice of your greeting sounded in my ear, the baby leaped in my womb for joy. Uh, blessed is she who believed, for there would be a fulfillment of those things which were told from her. She was prophesying. Mm -hmm. From the Lord. From the Lord. Mm -hmm. Again, Elizabeth was not there. Nope. They, they, neither one of them. Elizabeth wasn't there. And Mary wasn't there. Mm -mm. The angel of God spoke to them at two separate times. Two separate times. Because I remember you always say this in the real prophets of that. Don't don't want to know nothing about where they're going. Right. Don't tell me nothing about the people in the house of God because I don't want to preach from that place. Right. Here is Elizabeth. Try, she don't have no inside information. Nope. She ain't trying to take up mm -mm. a prophecy offering. Nope. This is, this is the word coming back to the word. Yes. Yeah. She confirmed the word. She confirmed the she word. She confirmed the word by saying... But why is this granted to me? Yes. That the mother of my Lord, the mother, Mary's pregnant. Mm -hmm. she, didn't, she wasn't in the room again. She said the mother of my Lord should come to me. Yes, the mother of it. Now, we go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold that right there, baby, because mm -hmm. I, I, I'm looking at our time. We're way over time. Oh, We're getting over time. So, But look at this. I just want somebody to know. Don't be upset what God is sending you or who God is sending to you. Be in the right place to know that you're about to receive a word. Yes. And it's going to speak into your ear because faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. So, listen. You got to believe. You got to believe. The Bible, that's what the word of God says. They blessed must is, first believe. Blessed is she or he who mm -hmm. believed. Yep. In this thing right here. Mm -hmm. So, Verse 56 says this, and I'm, we're going to close out right here. Verse 56 says this, And Mary remained with her about three months and returned to her house. Now, this is profound, and we may pick it up Sunday from here. She stayed with her three months. Yes. So she stayed with her, which equaled nine months for Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. 
but three months for Mary. Mm -hmm. And you know, right at three months is when everything starts showing. Mm -hmm. But she was engaged or she was betrothed mm -hmm. to Joseph. Yes. Now she's going back to Joseph with a bump. Yes. Because that's what you see at three months. Just you see a, a baby bump. bump. Yes. So now she's going back with a baby bump. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it right there. Mm -hmm. Don't don't get upset when you have to go back and face your face somebody with a baby bump. And you thinking they're going to be mad about it. They won't. Because God is going to speak to the next God-driven purpose. Because oh, he spoke good. to Joseph. A God-driven purpose. And when the purpose is God, you don't have to worry about nothing else. Go ahead. I'm, and then I'm going to close out. On you. We gonna so, close out on you. <laughs> Joseph had a reason to be mad. But Joseph didn't have a right to be mad. Mm -hmm. When somebody is your real uh, man of God or woman of God, they understand who you are. You ain't got to worry about trying to or worry about them being mad by what you, when you tell them what God what God has given you to carry. Mm -hmm. They will already understand that the purpose has to come forth. So therefore there's no getting mad. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna say that again. When you're carrying something for God, that man or that woman that is your husband or your wife should Most not right. get yeah. or who should not be upset when they understand, when they have an understanding of who God is and who God is into in your life and what you are destined to do. Mm -hmm. Because y'all are as one. Yes. Mary and Joseph was as one. And make sure if you got a God-driven purpose, you ain't trying to hook up with somebody that got a devil-driven purpose. Come on. They gonna respect <laughs> the one that God has for you or your husband or your wife, they're going to respect what you're carrying. So no. you don't have to water it down. You don't have to act like you ain't carrying it. You don't have to argue about it. And not even husband and wife. That's relationships. Relationships. You got to make sure you're not, you're, you're, if you're wasting your time with somebody that don't have a God-driven purpose, you need to go ahead and stay on God-driven purpose and let God deal with them. Yes. Because everybody that start with you are not supposed to go in with you. No. So believe mm -hmm. what you are carrying. Yes. Believe in the God that gave it to you. And don't you dare water it down for nobody else. Don't you dare kill or try to abort what you're carrying to mm -hmm. fit somebody else. Because that person is going to already understand who you are and what you're carrying. Amen. And, and even if they don't, God has sent a message for them. Yes. They will send, he will send a word for them to confirm what you are doing in the spirit. Amen. For God, they're yes. confirming. So I want to close with this verse. It's in the CEV. We've been saying it all day. And I just want to encourage those that are out there with this last verse. It really has nothing to do with our text <laughs> and the sense of it. Uh -huh. But because I've, I've been watching some of the comments, and I love the way somebody remember this, you're never having a bad day. You're having a character building day. But if you're having a character building day, you got to remember this text. And it's very familiar. We all quote it. We can do it. You know what I'm saying? Basically, we can quote it verbatim. But it's Second Chronicles, the 7th chapter. And I want to read the 14th through the 16th verse in the CEV version. Oh, I love it. So this is our, con our conclusion of the verse. It says, if my own people will humbly pray and turn back to me, and stop, stop sinning. <laughs> then I will answer them from heaven. I will forgive them and make their land fertile once again. I will hear the prayers made in this temple because it belongs to me. And this is where I will be worshipped forever. I will never stop watching over it. The reason why I read it all, because you got to understand this that our body is the temple of God. And when our body is the temple of God, that's where the word lives. That's where his purpose lives. And he said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It is only going to come through a willing vessel that is willing to, number one, humble themselves, because both of them did, humble themselves, receive the word, believe the word, walk out the process yes. while they're still coming forth for the promise 
all of us are highly favored among God. That's really good. Don't forget you're favored. Walk out the process. Yes, walk out the process because you're favored. Yes. You're favored among God. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that the process will produce some fruit if you have the faith. Yeah. And then he said, you know what it is. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. And then all of those things, those other things will be added unto you. Yeah. We just want to encourage you tonight. Don't forget your God-driven purpose. If you don't have it, seek 2 Corinthians 7 and 14 so that you will be able to really focus in on your God-given purpose. Hallelujah. 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 Before we leave, you know we're always giving this house. So we just, it's our opportunity to give and we do it at the end of the service, always on Wednesday evening. I just want to give you the three ways to give. Just don't stop doing what you're always doing, have been doing. And we have been giving in this house and I say thank you, thank you, thank you for always giving yes. into this ministry, into good ground. We're grateful. We are so grateful. So if you want to give, one way is go to our website strongtowercm.org and I see it's already tagged on the bottom of the screen you just go to our realm giving tab and then you can follow the instructions from there you can also text give you can text all capital letters STCM to 73256 I say again capital all capital letters STCM and these numbers 73256 the last way to give is we give on Cash App. Our Cash App is dollar sign, all capital letters, STCM1810. And it's also tagged on the bottom of the screen. Somebody else go ahead and tag it out. And I'm just saying, hey, if you don't have to give, we're going to still pray for you. But Definitely. those that are faithfully given, our, part of our confession is that we believe that we are 100% percent tithe, tithe yeah. givers. So we do give, and we're going to keep on giving. So I thank you for your giving. If there's nothing else, we're going to pray over the giving and pray out. Amen. Anything else you want to pray? You want me to pray? Okay. Just check. We're going to get this solved. <laughs> I'll be throwing it on. So thank you all for being with us on this Wednesday thank evening you. Bible we study. Are I hope so you are blessed, blessed. by y'all's presence. Yes. Yes. Thank you, because you're showing up uh, Wednesday after Wednesday and Sunday after Sunday and Saturday after Saturday. And we are, uh, we're grateful. We're not, mm -hmm. it's not about us. It's all about God. We just want to see God's people blessed, especially in uh, a time such as this. Amen. Yes, such a time as this. Amen. So, if you would just allow us to, uh, um, just to pray over our giving and our offering, and then we will be out of here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Let us pray. Thank you, O wonderful God, first for giving seed to the soil. We really do honor you and we bless you, God. Yes, Jesus. That you have found us faithful enough that you will give to us what you can get through us. Amen. So, God, we thank you that we are willing vessels to follow your commandment and do yes. what thus says the Lord and give into the house of God. Yes, Jesus. God, for that person that desired to give but could not give, for whatever reason, God, I ask you to bless them so yes. they will also be 100% tied givers. Yes, Lord. And for those that have the desire and did give, God bless them for being good stewards of over what you have given them. Yes, Jesus. And bless them a 30, 60, and 100 fold. Yes. Now, God, we thank you for the word that was given out tonight from you from on high. Yes, we God. thank you for the Logos, your written word. But we truly do honor both from the rhema word that you gave an impartation here because we know you, God, give the revelation. The Holy Spirit gives the illumination. The pastors give an impartation, yes. but the members must have an application of it, God, so there will be a manifestation of the word that you have placed inside of them. Yes, so, God, we give you a yet praise for the praise reports and a manifestation of what you have already done in time. Yes. Now, God, as we depart this place or this broadcast, but never your present, cover each and every person with Psalms 91 until we shall meet again, and we'll be careful to give you all honor and praise. It is in Jesus' in name Jesus we pray. Name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. We truly do love you all to life. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. And <laughs> we say good night. I had to play my music. Good night.